politics obviously fascinate director Justin Chadwick, first with the intrigue of King Henry VIII's court and the other Boleyn girl, and now in the first grader, one man played by Oliver Latando takes on the Kenyan government. Welcome Justin Chadwick and Oliver Latando. Your film, The First Grader, is based on a true story. So tell us how you decided to turn this into a film. Well, it was, it was really our producers saw an article on the LA Times and they said about this old guy going back to school and it just really caught their imagination. So they jumped on a plane with their backpacks, went uh, landed in Nairobi, went to Eldoret, found the real man and found his, uh, and found his teacher, signed their rights. And meanwhile, and the, meanwhile, Anne Peacock, the writer, had simply read that story, and uh, and she set off on a journey. But by the time her lawyer had gone and got to the story, it had already gone. So the two the the two guys heard that she was interested. She wrote Chronicles of Narnia and and stuff, and they they went to a, pre a premiere of uh, a film that she was attending and said, "Listen, we'd love you to write it." And ev and they wrote it, and everybody turned it down. And then David Thompson at the BBC picked it up. Uh, heard it, heard the story, and said, "I've got to do this," and and gave it to me, and that's when I came in. Um, and can you tell us about how you became involved with the story? And, and then I was called by Justin uh, to Nairobi. I flew over and uh, met him. You were like a day away on the bus yes. when you came yes. over to meet him. I was, I was actually on a bus. I came. I traveled from my home Poor to Nairobi on a bus. I was tired. <laughs> yeah, I know what you meant. I didn't sleep. I said, you, you go and meet this guy, the director. I went and my eyes were still sort of <laughs> hazy. I liked the, um, the character that I was going to play, Maruge himself. You know, I met the real guy that we was ba based on, spent a lot of time with him. But what I knew about Oliver is that more, most importantly, he had a really good heart and that the children would love him. You know, we were working with like, right. we were like working with very, very gentle Kikuyu and Maasai children who had never seen a movie camera, never been to the, uh, the movie theater. They'd not seen a TV. And I knew that going into that situation with Oliver, they would really love him, you know, and it was, I mean, that really, I mean, they did, yes. they completely believed that, they you know, they completely believed that he was the character. They yeah. thought I was a teacher. They did. They thought yes. Naomi was a teacher. Was a they teacher. called me Teacher Justin. They just, yeah. when, I, when, I, when I shouted, cut, they were going, teacher, teacher. Yes. And I'd have to mark all their work, you know. <laughs> In the end, we had all the children were all one class, one school. Mm. No one was excluded. If anybody mm. wanted to be involved in the film, they were. Their grandparents were involved, their parents. Mm. It was yeah. fantastic, wasn't it? Yes, it, was, it was. Oh, it was the most was. amazing thing because all that community just they got involved. They were all involved, actually. They, yeah. they, believed, they believed that we were part of the community, yeah. in fact, in the end. Yeah, fact, and we lived there, you know, we, so it was like yeah. we lived there and ate there and, and yeah. partied there, yeah. fair to say. Partied there. And um, <laughs> no, we had, it was a the most unbelievable, fulfilling it was. experience, wasn't it? Was. it? In fact, it was very difficult for us when we were leaving. The yeah. kids were yeah. sad and, you know, we were also sad and because we had become uh, part of the community. Family, really. yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Out of Africa, you remember the movie, Out of Africa. I think this one is probably into Africa because the fact that um, we had Kikuyu kids, we had Maasai kids, we had Luluya kids, yeah. all the tribal sort of combination was there. And, and it, it sort of is a changing kind of um, scenario, bringing Kenyans b together again after the sort of separation, or tribal separations yeah. that, the, that the British had instilled in this country. This film, which comes at a time when Kenya has just got a new constitution, will be a big boon to cementing the relationship between all the tribes in Kenya. I think Kenyans will love it. They will see themselves in it. And I think it's something that is now coming into Africa, into Kenya. Speaking of politics, as a British director going into Africa, what is it about the politics of, of Kenya that attracted you to the story in the first place? Well, it was the story. It's the story of a man who loves his land and wants to protect his land and also wants to be educated. We had this essentially an uplifting, moving story while we could squirrel in some hard-hitting issues that felt modern and relevant to yeah. where we are as a country, where we are as a world, and where Kenya is yeah. as a country. We were fighting the British to get back our land. They had taken it away from us. I am one of those people fighting to have this land back. And Maruge fought right until he right died. 
Um, he fought in the Mau Mau. He was one of the freedom fighters. In his old age, he was still fighting for Kenya to be free. British did this to me. They cracked my skull. They chopped off my toes. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Maruge. That's enough. We have to learn from our past. We must not forget. But we must be better. We need good teachers. Well, yeah. it's fabulous. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I think yeah. people are absolutely going to love yeah. it. So yeah. thank you guys so much for being yeah. here. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.